Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Building Championship Mindsets, the podcast. This is your host, Dr. Amber Selking, where we are in season 12 entitled A Decade of Greatness. We are celebrating the last 10 years of Selking Performance Group doing what it does and serving the world through helping us all understand the power of mindset and leadership. So leadership is really about leading the system, building a system that is conducive to what we know about human high performance. And then mindset is all about about helping those people inside of that system learn how to use this little brain that we all have inside of our skull to think right and show up as the best version of ourselves so that we can turn up and deliver. And that might be in a sports team, in a business organization, or it might be inside of your family. There is leadership and mindset that happens every single day or doesn't, <laughs> inside of the, the very smallest nucleus of our very homes. And so the hope and intent of this podcast has always been to help people develop the understandings and skill set to really win that mental game. Um, and then, again, specifically this season is about sharing some of the drivers that that. I believe has helped lead Selking Performance Group over the last 10 years in our journey, again, to help others really tap into and deliver performance excellence on a more consistent basis. So the driver that we're going to talk about today is what we call pivots or pivoting, the ability to change direction quickly when we need to so that we can continue to move toward who we're trying to be and accomplish what we are trying to accomplish. So this word pivot, I feel like I've never heard as much as when I heard in 2020, when organizations and people were constantly talking about, are we going to pivot and change direction? And all of a sudden, um, you know, maybe we're a chemical company and are we going to start making hand sanitizer, right? We, we pivot and into a new market that we might not otherwise have, have gone into, or, you know, do we need to pivot and serve a whole new industry if we're a manufacturer? manufacturing company that might not have even been on our radar prior to this opportunity that emerges? Or um, are we going to pause and just wait and see how this plays out? As we look back at how different organizations navigated 2020, what we've seen is that those companies that were able to pivot quickly and adapt their strategy or their products or how they were positioned in the marketplace actually outperformed those that chose to pause to sort of wait and see how this is going to happen. And I think that that is a mark of a high performing organization. It's also the mark of a high performing individual. Can you pivot when new information comes up that you believe allows you to move you closer to your goals? And so an example of a pivot, you know, within Selking Performance Group is that, you know, I had originally intended to consult with a bunch of different organizations all over the country on mindset and leadership. When I got the opportunity to go in-house with two organizations, one sports team and one business organization, I pivoted and said yes, because I realized that I could learn a lot, that I could grow a lot, that we could have a lot of impact and not just being an outside in voice to a company to take strides in their growth, but actually building something from the inside out. And so while that has allowed us to, to gain a lot of deep insights, it served the overall mission of the organization, which is again, to help individuals, teams, and organizations understand and leverage the power of mindset and leadership. So that pivot made sense. Another example that I'll give you of, of my journey personally within Selking Performance Group is that I had intended to, to launch my company right after my master's degree. And while the company was actually launched in the early stages, uh, actually right when I started my master's degree, um, my plan was to go full time into my consulting after I graduated. When I found a doctorate program at the University of Missouri with one of the legends in the field of sports psychology, Dr. Rick McGuire, who has recently officially joined the Selking Performance Group as a strategic advisor, um, I realized, oh God, 
I've got to go to school for a couple more years. <laughs> I just felt it in my heart of like, I need to pivot. I wasn't planning on getting a PhD. Um, I thought it would be cool, but I didn't think there was a program that was really applied that would allow me the flexibility to do my research on whatever was in my heart to do versus just what the advisor wanted. And that would be embedded within a big time sports program. Missouri provided that. I got to be in an SEC environment with a legend in the field. Um, Dr. Pat Ivey, was the head strength and conditioning coach at the time and allowed me to partner with him and to work with our men's basketball program. So be very applied and to do my research on whatever I felt called to, which was transition in sport. And so I was able to do my dissertation on the transition out of the NFL and really better understand the mental and emotional experiences of guys that were transitioning out of the league and into life thereafter. And so again, that was a pivot that I'm I'm so thankful that I made because looking back now being able to, to bring an added layer of depth and expertise to this field to my clients is meaningful, not because I love being called Dr. Selking, but because of what that actually stands for and what it implies of saying like, hey, as good as you are in your craft, in your sport, in your in your area of financial management, I want to be as good in my craft as you are in your craft so that I can help you get even better so that you can sharpen me and make me an even better professional. That's what pivots allows us to do. It opens our mind, opens our opportunity to things that we might not otherwise be able to do. And so what allows us to pivot? I will tell you that mental and emotional agility is what allows people to pivot and to pivot well. And then inside what allows an organization to pivot is trust. Because organizations can only pivot if there is trust from the very top to the very front lines of an organization that is so connected to the industry you're in that you know the decision you're making for your organization to pivot is right. And then trust from your people that this is the right decision. So that allows you to actually move quickly and to capitalize on the opportunity that this pivot is presenting you. And so your championship mindset training for this week is to rate yourself on two things. One, how would you rate your mental and emotional agility? When things come up, are you able to pivot well? Or do you get stuck and freeze up and say, well, th th this wasn't in the plan. This wasn't in the structure. I, I, my plan was to run my company right after my master's degree. What do you mean a PhD? And you might miss the window of opportunity. Rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. How are you in terms of mental and emotional agility? And then secondly, if you're inside a team or an organization or even in your family, what is the trust level that exists between members of your organization that will allow you to pivot if and when an opportunity comes up because that trust and collaboration is there, which will allow you to move quickly. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, we've got a new book out called Winning the Mental Game, the playbook for building championship mindsets that if you realize like, man, my mental and emotional agility is not so awesome. <laughs> I believe the plays inside of this playbook will help you build that mental and emotional agility so that you can navigate life with purpose and passion and high performance and poise, right? And not get all bent out of sorts, but indeed be able to pivot into opportunities that allow you to grow as a person and as a team. So check out our book. You can get on our website, selkingperformance.com or on Amazon. And then please follow us on all the social media platforms. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can find us at Champ Mindsets or Selking Performance Group on those platforms. And if there's anything that we can do for you individually, shoot me an email directly, drselking at selkingperformance.com. We've got keynote speaking for your organization, one-on-one -on -one performance coaching with a whole team of people that are just phenomenal at their craft that we would really be honored to come alongside of you on your own performance journey. So thank you so much for tuning in. You've been listening to Building Championship Mindsets, the podcast. This is your host, Dr. Amber Selking. And from the lock room to the boardroom. I just want to challenge you to continue building your championship mindset.